In this video, I'm going to have a quick look at the seventh index law and a proof of why it is. So the seventh index law states that if you have a number written with a negative index, say a to the negative n, we can write this with a positive index by taking the reciprocal. Now the reciprocal of anything is to write it by flipping the fractions. So if we have, say, 3, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3. Or say if I have 1 over 5, the reciprocal of that is 5. Or say if I have 2 fifths, then the reciprocal of that is 5 over 2, 5 halves. So it's effectively flipping the fraction. So we can write our index here with a positive index by writing it as the reciprocal with a positive index. This all also works the other way around. If we have 1 over a to the negative n, then we can write this as just a to the positive n. So if we have a negative index, we can write it with a positive index by taking the reciprocal, by flipping the fraction. And the reason this works is if we have a look at, say, x to the power of 3 over x to the power of 5. If we actually have a look at expanding out these powers, as multiplication, so x cubed is x times x times x, and x to the 5 is x times x times x times x times x, 5x is times together, then we can f see that there are going to be items that cancel out, so 1x cancels out, 2x's cancels out, 3x's cancels out, and that means that we're left with 1 over x times x, which is 1 over x squared. Now if we have a look at the second index law with this situation where we have x cubed over x over 5, that the second index law states that we would subtract the powers. So we would have x of 3 minus 5, which is x to the power of negative 2. Now we've shown that x cubed over x to the 5 is 1 over x squared. And we've also shown that x cubed over x5 is x to the negative 2. And because we started off with exactly the same situation, that means that these two are the same. So we can take our negative index and write it as a positive index by taking the reciprocal.